Naoya Inoue is your number one pound for pound fighter in the world. So give the video a like, comment, sub, check out my Patreon. A little bit about this Butler fight. Um, as we all suspected, it, it was a foregone conclusion. Not a lot of hype. It was more of a formality, right? Uh, I don't know why Butler waited 11 rounds to quit, but whatever. Uh, didn't come to win fun in survival mode, blah, 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 blah. Boring fight. I'll say this much. This is why you should, I do, certainly, appreciate fighters like Nonito Donaire, right? That one round, was it, that he got knocked out in, um, in his fight with Inoue, uh, was a hundred times more exciting than this bullshit, right? Butler didn't really... He came to survive, and then he still quit anyway. <laughs> Uh, whatever, a little bit about Inu and, and the fight. Um, it became immediately apparent to me that maybe it would have been a good idea for him to take something off his punches off the bat. bat. Butler, to my knowledge, never sparred him, was never in the ring with him. He doesn't really know what kind of power Inoue has, right? Maybe if Inoue makes it look like he's thrown with full power, but at the last second just takes something off his shots, uh, that'll grow Butler's balls a little bit. He'll say, well, this guy isn't all that he's cracked up to be, or my chin is better than I thought. And he'll open up a little bit, right? Uh, and then once he has them timed, then show him what you really have. Uh, you know, mix up your power, uh, switch things up a little bit more. Inoue could definitely improve and add wrinkles and variety to his game, right? But the way he did it, right, maybe that's what he wanted. Maybe he wanted Butler to fear his power off the bat to maybe have it a longer fight, but an easier one in a sense, you know? I and mean, put him in a shell and just go through the motions, neuter him as, so to speak, right off the bat. Maybe that's what he wanted. He just castrated him and... Yada, yada, yada. That being said, I still think uh, he could add a lot more wrinkles and variety to his game, right? Now, so congratulations. He's the undisputed um, lineal, right? The Bantamweight division hasn't had a lineal, a real true champion in something like uh, 35 years or something. Do you think that's significant? Do you think that's significant? Right. So so onto the pound for pound list. Right. I don't really have a pound for pound list. I just vaguely talk about who the best pound for pound fighters are, in my opinion. And my criteria is always skill. Right. It's always skill, first and foremost. And then, you know, prove me right or prove me wrong in the ring. That's it. Right. But what is and, and, and when I say, you know, now I yeah, you know uh, is your number one pound for pound guy. Maybe it's not so obvious. I'm talking to the normies. Right. All the normies out there and all the hardcore casuals. Um, or casual hardcores. Yeah, that's it. Uh, watch every single damn fight out there. Don't know dick about boxing, right? Those people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because he checks, he ticks all the boxes, right? When it comes to everything that everybody out there says is pound for pound, right? So, uh, being undisputed, right? That's the most important. That seems to be, shout out to Golovkin for popularizing um, undisputed. But that's like the thing right now when it comes to the pound for pound list, right? And the criteria. Being lineal, right, is very important. So he is that. I'm not sure if he was lineal in, in any of the other divisions, but uh, collecting titles is very important, right? This dude has, I don't know how many titles he's collected overall, but six different titles or something like that. The four titles that he currently holds, and then he had two more titles in two different divisions, right? Uh, being, quote-unquote, champion or winning titles in various divisions. Counting up these divisions is very important when it comes to pound for pound, right? So he has three. Being the youngest champion is super important, right? He, I don't know if he was the youngest in history, but he was one of the youngest champions in history, right? Now, now winning, winning a title or you know, becoming champion in very, very few fights is not important to the hardcore casual, uh, casual hardcore 
well, because an American fighter has never done anything like that, right? So, it, but but as soon as he does, it, it's going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. So, but judging by the fact that you know people always talk about, well, the youngest this and that, youngest undisputed champion ever, right, Devin Haney? Well, he was one of the youngest champ. That so that's important, but also you know that kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that he did it in such few fights with so little experience, right? That's the whole thing with the youngest, right? inexperienced well shit he was one of the youngest if not the youngest and super inexperienced in his sixth fight i want to say he won a title right so that's very important and he hasn't looked back since since he won the title he's had nothing but title fights right 19 i think something like 19 title fights undefeated right high ko ratio very high ko ratio one of the highest ko ratios in the history of the sport in championship fights if not the highest i don't know you guys let me know Right. Uh, he beat something like nine champions, one of them twice. Right. Former, current, future. And some of those guys he beat will probably still win titles. Right. Nine champions already he beat. Right. Nothing but title fights since he won this title. Undefeated, undisputed, young as this, young as that. Right. Three division champion. Dominant. N no one has even been, been able to really compete with him not really well maybe when he got injured against carmona that flattered carmona a little bit when he injured his hand supposedly but in recently right no one's been even able to compete with this dude nonito did in, in their first fight right but that's a fellow pound for pound guy these guys that you have on, on your pound for pound list right well what pound for pound guy did they ever beat never ever right Crawford never beat a pound for pound guy. Spence never beat a pound for pound guy. Who who else is up there? Right? Did Usyk ever beat a pound for pound guy? No. Did um Loma did, but he's got losses. Oh, that's another thing. Undefeated, right? That's really important. Right? That's really like he ticks all the boxes in Denso, more so than anybody else. So if, like you say, all those things are important, right? Undisputed, multi-division champion, undefeated, uh, dominant, right? Youngest to do this, youngest to do that. How many champions he beat? And then there's the recency bias, right? What have you done for me lately? Because, well, Terrence Crawford has titles in three different divisions and he's undisputed in one division, right? Yeah, but he's not currently undisputed, right? So it's all about where you're at right now. Not back then, right? He's not undisputed. Now Ainoa is undisputed. What fellow undisputed champions do you have, right? That seems to be like the most important thing. Well, Haney, Taylor, right? They're all single division champs. Um, Jamal. Uh, sorry, Jamal, right? That's only one division. Who else is out there? I, I can't think of it anywhere right now, right? So this guy has to be, right? If indeed all those things that people say are important to being pound for pound, right? Those aren't my criteria. Those are the criteria of most, the overwhelming majority of casual hardcores out there, right? Those are, those are, he ticks all the boxes better than anybody else in the sport, right? So do you have him pound for pound number one on your list? If not, then your list is bullshit. God damn, it must suck, right? It must really, really, doesn't it? Doesn't it make you mad, those of you that it does, right? Doesn't it upset you? But this asshole here online, right, points out your bullshit and hypocrisy and the nonsense and the racial bias that you have, right? Constantly, and he's always right. Gee, that must, how, how does it feel? to be bullshit let me know in the comment section and um shout out to all the real boxing fans thanks for watching